What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword and we got our 8th badge from Raihan here in Hammerlock and they told us to head over to the train station so we can head over to a new area but I wanted to show you guys an update for my team so I did get my Milotic I went fishing for a fee bass on Route 2 it took me a couple of hours uh, well, not even a couple of hours I want to say it probably took me like 45 minutes to get one, but I wanted two because I didn't want to go searching for a ditto. So I finally caught like a male and a female fee bass. I bred them, got one with the uh, nature I wanted, which was modest, but I also have one with bold. So later on, when I plan on doing competitive play, I can switch out between my one that focuses on special attack and the one that's more defensive. But we replaced uh, Gyarados with my Lodic because, you know, I like the look of my Lodic. And. Here's the team still, you see everybody else. The levels are pretty close, um, but one thing I noticed too was I can connect on, I, this whole time I thought I was connected online for this game. I wasn't connected online, I was only connected locally, and that's why I wasn't getting any surprise trades or anything, or even seeing people's stamps pop up or uh, league cards. So, here we go. Wait up, Blades, I'm coming too. I had Raihan beat in no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is, huh? And you never stop nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that, but your strength is genuine, as proven by the Dragon Badge you won for me. You came at me with all that force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to... Oh, one of you ought to... I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival Blades, so I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. So get a move on, Blades, that train's waiting. Ah, uh, this is pretty nice. You know, it's been a minute since, uh, damn, I got it swagged out. <laughs> He just looks like a winner. We're finally headed to Wydon, or Windon. There's a lot I want to check out there. There's this big tower and the monorail. And Windon Stadium, where the whole of Galar, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. My guy's like, swag, 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 swag. You get it, right? You and me are going to make our match there the greatest match there ever was. Well, we're, we're both going to have to come down to fighting each other when it comes to facing Leon. But let me show you guys, um, I ended up breeding a bunch of Feebas too, and I decided that even during my playthrough and like when I'm not recording, I was just going to randomly do a surprise trade to people and give them these Feebasses because I'm not sure how many people really feel like going over there to fish. They're not for competitive battling or anything, but it's a start if somebody doesn't want to go out there and fish for a Feebas. So, like I said, I ended up breeding a bunch of these to get the nature I wanted, and now I just surprise trade them. But other than that, this Milotic that I have is also a Milotic I traded back with somebody. So I didn't want to get a boosted EXP one. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be Ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Blades. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. Yeah, let's check out. Well, what's this sparkle? But yeah, so. Ah, oh, Mr. Rhymes. <laughs> or Mr. Mime, but then Mr. Mime got an evolution to where he is. Mr. Rhyme now, which is what, Ice Fairy? Oh, what? This is not how I wanted to show off my loading with going to sleep. <laughs> I wonder what other moves this Mr. Mime knows, though. Honestly, I low-key still don't like the design. Are you going to use this hypnosis? Also, a new update too, I caught a Dusnor. I didn't know Dusnor was going to be out in the wild area um, as like an encounter, but I caught it at level 60. So, if you're looking for a Dusnor, 
you can get them in the wild area. Of course, it's not going to have the perfect nature EVs or IVs that you want for a competitive battle, but it's something if you want to add it to your Pokédex and don't want to waste your time um, trying to find a trade partner for it or trying to save up battle points to get the item for a Dust Clops to evolve with. Other than that, I also caught a Glaceon when I caught a Glaceon. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna put you on the team. Oop, don't touch me. <laughs> oh, dang it. I did not want to fight you. Like I said in the end, like, I am gonna try to catch all the Pokemon, but I feel like I've wasted too much time with battling all these wild Pokemon, so we'll just battle these trainers that we come across. Okay, Dr. Graham. Oh, you have a Gardevoir. Okay, but that Gardevoir could easily know an electric move. I kind of wanted to get my Milotic to have um, an electric move too. I wanted to teach it like Thunderbolt or something. I think I could teach Milotic Thunderbolt. I can't remember. But this just reminded me. I told myself like in the beginning of the recording that I was going to catch a... Or I, when I got that route to the beginning of the playthrough, I said to myself I was going to have routes on my team. And then I totally just left routes behind. But I think that's because I got Grimmsnarl as the Dark Fairy type. So I wasn't really tripping like that about having one. We just gonna heal up because you never know what to expect. Oh yeah, we can also buy um, full restores now. Yeah, I don't care if I just wasted the Super Potion, I'm rich. With the Amulet Count out there, um, I'm getting everything I basically need. If you guys are wondering why my outfit is different now too, it's because you can change over your makeup to match like a Pokemon basically. Oh, you have a Steelix. I would totally have Colossal out here, but I don't know, being that he's a rock type 2 kind of makes him susceptible to ice moves. And since he's not the fastest out there, I don't want to like put him at risk of fainting constantly throughout the throughout the journey to get to the champion cup. Oh, you want to learn hydro pump? Yeah, we're going to get rid of water pulse. Surf, Hydro Pump, Recover, Safeguard, I think those are pretty good to have. And to show off our new move, we're going to use a Hydro Pump. And we freaking miss. <laughs> but we can, we can try again. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. I mean, as long as you know, dude. Oh, I thought he was going to battle me. <laughs> Office worker, but he's taking a selfie? Oh, you got a Weavile. You're going to use the steel move on me? Okay. If that makes you feel better. 
I don't know, I kind of want to use Recover and then go for another Surf. Oh, maybe I should just use Surf since he's boosting his attack and accuracy. I, I feel like he's going to use like a move that gets critical hits like Night Slash or Slash, one of the two. Are you still going to use Home Claw? Did you thought you would get like a, a nice beefy Weavile out here? I don't know, I guess the AI kind of doesn't remember that Weavile don't have the best defense. Yep, we're going to keep you out here. I just want to show off my Lodic a lot now. Yeah, I guess we could call you Battle Man. Can't go around him. So he has flying type. He has a Corviknight on his team. One thing I wish they did for this game was have some type of flying animation when you want to fly around the map. Well, good thing I don't have berries. Oh yeah, I think I don't think you guys saw, but my Corviknight also learned Brave Bird, so I got rid of Drill Peg for Brave Bird. I'm trying to think of what other moves um, anybody can learn since the last recording, because I went on like a catching breeding spree, basically. And that's kind of how I saw that I wasn't connected online at all either when I was trying to do these trades and stuff. Ooh, Flygon. Uh, we'll send out Grimmsnarl just because that dragon typing, so we can use, uh, we can either use Draining Kiss or Play Rough. I don't know, I think Dragon kind of cancels out Water's effectiveness. Hopefully Play Rough doesn't miss. Ooh, used Earthquake. Which is actually the ground type move I want to put on Rillaboom. I feel like it's fitting for him. Okay, okay, everybody got levels. I don't know if I'm, oh, ooh, come on. <laughs> Thought I got a good avoid right there, but I walked like right into that one. But it's all good, I can easily just run, I believe. You know, don't come for me. Oh, there's a camp here, so. We can get some EXP, recover some health too, and some um, fire up points. So we're gonna do some cooking. I've only done this like three times, now that I think about it. Or actually, this might be the third time. So I'm gonna just put all these berries here and see what we make. <laughs> I don't know what that was that he just put in there. I'm just trying to get these flames going ASAP so we can continue through the playthrough.
So I found out that to evolve um, the far fetch to surf fetch, you have to have your far fetch get three critical hits in a battle. That's an interesting like evolution mechanic for it. I don't know. I don't know what these classes mean. For real, for real. But now we can leave. I needed some more, uh, some of those PowerPoints for my moves for my Lodic on Surf. I hope we're going the right way because this mountain kind of like split into two different directions. I guess it's kind of good I just have my Lodic out here because some of these guys don't even have ice types with them. And so I'm guessing this is like the game's version of Victory Road. Oh, it looks like it restored like all the restored all the uh, power points. Sturdy, he's a sturdy giggle. No, he's not a sturdy. He just stopped right there with like one HP. I feel like Surf should get rid of Stealth Rocks just because you're like washing away everything. I don't know, I feel like that makes more sense. Nope, keeping out my loaded to mess everybody up. Ooh, that was a crit. Nice. I'm kind of just wondering what the Elite Four is going to be looking like for the Pokemon levels. I feel like with the way like these trainers levels are, I'm kind of like out here going to be a little OP. The way you carry yourself, you are something. Okay, gentlemen. Gentleman Glenn. Oh, they got the uh, Valerian uh, version of this Pokemon. Honestly, even its even its Galarian form is ugly. I said it. Just using time. It's like you're wasting this Pokemon's ability to showcase himself. Uh, Phalanx was fighting. I think Phalanx was a fighting type. I haven't used Corviknight in a while, I think. Mmm. Get wrecked, son. So much recoil damage. Dang. Okay, another fighting type. I don't know, I feel like they should have made Grappalock like a water fighting type. That would have been clutch to have. And I probably would have used it instead of my Lodic. Oh, we're doing a double battle next. Uh, 
I don't know, I think I have more. I think I have more things to, to like, I can counter with Rillaboom with knowing the moves that he knows. gonna hit Rillaboom, right? But that's not very effective, so I'm fine with that. I felt like that was the best thing to really do. Even though my Lotus got hurt in the process. This way we can take out their uh, Clang Clang. Yeah, Rillaboom didn't take much from that. Oh, they got more Pokemon to send out. Oh, noise. Okay. Oh man, I can always... I feel like I should just hydro pump you and then... Oh, uh, maybe I should have used wood hammer on the Noivern. Woo! My Lodic about to faint after this though. Oh yeah, that's right, we don't know. We haven't discovered his type yet. Never mind. Oh, that's what I need. I need ice cream on my loader. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. Now I'm definitely feel like I'm at a disadvantage because that Moivern knows a flying type move, I think. At least it should know a flying type move to. Actually, no, we're gonna play rough because you took out that my loaded fam. Help to go down like that. Grim Snarl for the save, man. And it works out because uh, we didn't have to get hit by hail. We got a good amount of money from that, too, now that I think about it. Okay, that was, that was a short journey. But this actually looks pretty nice over here. Looks like there's a Ferris wheel to check out to the left on the map. I always hate wasting my potions. Like, dang, man. This place looks nice. Oh, there's a new store I can go to to upgrade my guy's clothes. 
I'm actually looking forward to it. I don't know like what it is, but I just like making my guy look pretty pretty fire out of here. Wendon City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it. I'm headed straight for the Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Blaze. You should head there yourself. Yeah, I probably should. But I think I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center and check out this town myself. Oh, we completed one of our... Uh, our surprise trades like I said guys I'm trading off random random fee bass out there I don't really care what I get back have I had this Pokemon yet snom snom wow yeah an ice bug type it spits out thread imbued with a frigid sort of energy and uses it to tie its body to branches, disguising itself as an icicle while it sleeps. Okay, I might have to check out what that even evolves into, because Ice Bug is a nice, I think, new typing. I don't think we have an Ice Bug before. Just like I don't think we ever had a Poison Electric type. But guys, that's it. I'm in this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also, subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.